So at long last we finally have some all new first looks inside the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser and also the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind roller coaster that are both coming to Walt Disney World along with a bunch of other new details. So let's dive into all of that up next. Hi there Walter News, I'm Jack and this is of course DSY Newscast and you know what, we've got quite a lot to get through so let's just get straight into it. As today marks the beginning of IAPA 2020, which is taking place virtually this year because of a pandemic. And this is usually a week-long trade expo that showcases the latest innovations from all across the themed entertainment industry. And of course, Disney also had a presence at the expo. But this year with a pre-recorded keynote by Disney Parks Experience and Products Chairman Josh DeMauro, which not only highlighted and discussed the numerous best-in-class protocols and practices put into place to ensure the guest health and safety at the resorts, but it also looked toward the future of the Disney Parks division, with a few updates regarding ongoing projects. So let's begin with the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, or otherwise known to many as the Star Wars Hotel. As at the beginning of the temporary park closures back in March, it was reported that construction had been paused on nearly all upcoming projects, including this high-end ultra-immersive experience, and its future looked a lot less than certain. Then in May of this year, we received official word from Disney CEO Bob Chapek that the parks would be reducing their capital expenditure by $900 million for fiscal year 2020, which again made many question the fate of this project as there was a school of thought that an expensive two-day, two-night experience in an enclosed environment might not be the best project to continue to pursue in the short term given the global health crisis. But on the other hand, this project was always meant to pioneer the beginning of a new era of ultra-immersive themed storytelling for many years to come. And so we learnt from insiders on the WDW Magic forums in July that the Galactic Star Cruiser was to continue its construction albeit with an expected delayed timeline for its opening. And instead, we saw projects such as the Mary Poppins attraction get indefinitely postponed, and the Spaceship Earth revamp get significantly delayed. But with this news of the continuation of the Galactic Star Cruiser, we awaited further evidence of some construction progress. And finally, today, we've received our first official look inside one of the nearly completed cabins. And surprisingly, it's almost identical to that of a concept art released last year. And the reason why I say surprisingly is because concept art often slightly embellishes elements or enhances certain aspects with an artistic license. But incredibly, Walt Disney Imagineering has really delivered on exactly what they promised. And so just imagine how amazing the interiors of the bridge, the atrium, the Silver Sea Lounge, and the lightsaber dojo will be when this project is fully completed and we get to board the Halcyon for a two day, two night trip. But the other thing that is notable about this first look inside one of the cabins is the overall size and layout of the interior. And in many ways, it's actually more comparable to that of a cabin on board the Disney Cruise Line instead of a hotel. As when approaching this topic, despite it making sense to call it a hotel because it's still a building, it's actually more akin to an intergalactic Disney Cruise Line on land. Although the exterior looks to be anything but like a galactic spaceship. As we can see in these incredible aerial images by BioReconstruct on Twitter, that much of this exterior that looks rather mundane and a bit like an office building will remain unthemed because it will be hidden from the guest view to ensure that the illusion of being in space remains firmly intact. And this will even be true for the planned excursions down to the planet of Batu for an exclusive adventure that will take place around Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And despite much of the construction being complete, we can still see work is ongoing on the docking bay where the guests will board a completely themed shuttle that will simulate the space transport from the Halcyon down to Black Spire Outpost. So that's our first look inside one of these cabins on board the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. But rest assured, I'll be sure to come back and update all of you with new details with just how exactly this experience is going to function as we learn even more. But another upcoming project that will be using similar immersive techniques to the Galactic Star Cruiser is the Space 220 restaurant at Epcot. And we've received our first glimpse inside this out of this world dining experience, where they look at this gigantic 250 foot wide wraparound digital window out into space. And I think it's pretty easy to see that this will quickly become one of the most highly sought after and exclusive dining experiences anywhere at Walt Disney World. 
As you see, it's the push for the ultra-immersive environments and technology developed for the Galactic Star Cruiser that is already beginning to permeate throughout other projects and make experiences like the Space 220 restaurant possible. And so, sticking with this theme of Epcot, we also have updates regarding two new attractions. And the first thing that we've learned is something which I reported many months ago. And that is that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure has now been officially announced to be opening in 2021. Which isn't exactly surprising since we only have 45 days left in this year. And believe me, the end of 2020 can't come soon enough. But also the other reason why this has been pushed back to 2021 is that Disney will need Ratatouille to play a major part in the marketing campaign for early next year. But from what I'm hearing, it's expected to be in spring of 2021, sometime within the time frame of March, April and May. But I also wouldn't anticipate an exact opening date until much closer to that of the opening, as then that way it would give Disney the flexibility to decide based upon the current circumstances regarding the pandemic. Although when this is set to open, I think it's safe to say that Disney will probably manage the physical distancing and crowding by rolling out a virtual queue for the attraction and maybe even a boarding pass for the entry into the courtyard area as well. And also we received our first look inside the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind roller coaster that's coming to Epcot. And this is an image that's taken from inside the absolutely massive gravity building, where much of the ride will take place. And what is fascinating about this is just how intertwined and complex the track layout is. As I did a video way back in January about the estimated track layout for this roller coaster, and it certainly seems very similar, but it's also more layered and dimensional than what I could easily depict at the time. But the interesting thing is if you zoom in to the image, you can see that this banked turn here is actually this same piece of track that we saw during the construction. So that means that this is going to be the beginning of the track within this main building. And then this piece of theming that's directly underneath this piece of track will actually be the time jump back down the same launch tunnel to arrive at the Universe of Energy building for the end of the attraction and the exit. And then the other important thing to remember about all of this is that it's not just any roller coaster but a storytelling roller coaster using an omni coaster system, which means that it can move like a doom buggy from the Haunted Mansion, with Imagineering having complete control over not only the speed, but also the direction and rotation of the ride vehicle, making for a more advanced story whilst keeping all of the thrills of a roller coaster. And to achieve this, there will also be massive projection domes and spheres installed within this building. And in actual fact, we can already see a projection wall on the right hand side of the image, which will create a dynamic interchangeable environment as we blast all the way back to the Big Bang alongside the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then also with regards to Marvel, we've also received a glimpse at the Avengers campus that's being constructed at Disney California Venture with these new ground views. And we also received a quick look at the web slinger ride vehicles arriving in the loading area, along with this brief showing of the Disney Genie app that's going to be rolled out at Walt Disney World as well. And so that's everything that we've learnt so far regarding these upcoming projects from this IAPA 2020 keynote. But I'll be back later on this week to talk all about the future of Epcot's multi-year transformation. So stay tuned for all of that. But now it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know what are your thoughts and opinions regarding all of this news for today. And also if you could apply this idea of ultra immersive theming to any kind of concept to bring to life some type of IP or environment. And I'm not just talking about attractions, but I'm also talking about restaurants and even shops. And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere in this video, along with your suggestion or your comment, to be on the chance to win one of these official DSY Newscast enamel pins. And congratulations to this Waltonier here for winning this suggestion from the previous video, where I was talking all about what to realistically expect from the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so that you always receive an update whenever I release a new video, and also if you've enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out and I've been Jack, you've been you and I'll see you real soon.